The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, Unew Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Welcome to 2020 and welcome to Ask for Candy, where we talk about healing, self-care, love, sex, relationships, and what it takes to be amazing on the daily. Who I am, I am Candice Harper, lovecoach.com, and my purpose in life and with this podcast is to create healthy, romantic relationships all around the world. And starting right here in Teaneck, New Jersey, from the Celebrities Boutique, y'all. It's a new year, right? Yes. It's a new year. It's a new decade. I have a new gorgeous co-host. Hey, Woo! hey, hey. Those of you who are on the Facebook Live, you can see my new gorgeous co-host. But I'm going to introduce you to her in a second. But she is the owner of this beautiful boutique that we are in. Hi, Sherman. My friend Sherman just Hi, joined. Hi, Sherman. Anyway, so you are probably listening to us with your smart device on your TuneIn app. Um, armed radio or you're listening in the garden at armedradioglobal.com or we're on spotify anchor iHeartRadio, itunes or wherever you get your podcast so you can always listen to replays if you miss this live broadcast or maybe you're here with us live on the facebook yes. and if you are you got to talk to us we got to have them talk to us Okay. I feel like right we come Sounds with all good. of this Sounds good. this goddessness all of and this. sometimes people just want to watch us like TV. Right. But we want y'all to talk to us, we want you please to ask do. us questions, yes, we please. want you to interact. And right now this is where we take a moment to share. share. So make sure that you share I want you to share us on the groups that you belong to. Okay. I want you to share us on the pages that you use. Right now I am sharing us to the business page. Let's share. Let's share. share. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Share it to all your favorite pages. Um, so happy new year, everybody. We w- we're going to talk about all the different things that we're going to be up to for this decade. And I'm really excited about it. And I'm really excited about introducing Nika, which I'm going to do as soon as I get this on my business page. How are you doing? I'm you doing like? amazing. Thank you so much for asking. I am trying to share this to all my pages so that okay. we can... You know, have as many people as we can come in. Like watching, right? Yes, watching, watch, and listening, talking. and hearing. Right now, we're doing a little soft shoe while we share. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bear right. with us. Okay, so. Yeah, you shared yes, it. You I did. shared it, right? Yes. Okay, honey. good. Yes, I love the we're people good. coming we're in. We're good. So now also remember, if you are live and you want to ask a question, you want to say something to us, but you're shy, you can also email us at askforcandypodcast at gmail.com. Say that again. Askforcandypodcast at gmail.com. I like that. I like that. Right? For like candy. Ask for candy. It's right. all about love and health and, and, you know, being able to ask for what we want, like ask for the good things, the sexy things, the passionate things. I think a lot of times, and the reason I call it Ask for Candy, is a lot of times when it comes to relationships, we tend to focus on criticizing each other. Right, right, right. That's Way true. more than anything else. I agree. But when we're willing to just ask for candy and ask for what we want and ask for the sweetness and offer the sweetness, right? Then, you know, we have a much better experience. I agree. Right? Yes. That's what we're going to be all it. about. Let's do it. Okay, let's I'm do ready. it. All right. <laughs> So let me get ready to introduce you. Ooh. I'm going to say a little bit more. You guys know I'm CandaceHarperLoveCoach.com. Those of you who've been here, my talent is conversation. My passion is personal growth. And my purpose is to teach and inspire radical self-acceptance in myself and in others so that we can all have our best possible love life. And that is why this is a conversation. We're not here to hand down a bunch of dating or relationship rules. We're not here to shame your love situation. None of that. None right? of that. No shame. No shame. Our only intention is to create audacious intimacy, seductive singlehood, and healthy relationships. Relationships. So tonight and every Monday night, we're going to do what we do, which is have conversations that engage, educate, and or enlighten all of us in the areas of self-love, sex, relationships, and vibrating high. Woo! And right now, the moment has come. That looks good. Yeah, that's a lot. I love right? that. How do you do that introduction without stuttering? <laughs> I would be 
be all over the place. I'm like, that's wow. why I have this paper. I see. <laughs> and, and my readers, that's what gets right. me through, right? And now the part that I've been, I've been excited for. I'm so excited, Nika. Oh, thank I you. I am, honey. Thank I'm just you. like overwhelmingly Happy excited. Me. My new co-host, Woo-hoo. Nika Celebrities Bell, honey. Yes. Let me tell you some stuff about my Nika. Tell Besides me. the fact that, first of all, let me first say that, you know, the mysteries of life and how God works in mysterious ways. So yes, I used to live near Lenox Avenue in Harlem. Those of you who know Harlem and you know where Lenox Avenue is, I used to live at Lenox Terrace. Nika has a, a truck, a retail fashion truck, yes, which is uh, the extension of this store, the store mm-hmm. that's in Teaneck, New Jersey. But initially she was just driving the truck. Selling her beautiful fashions. Nika has great taste, by the way. Thank you. Out of the, you're welcome, honey. <laughs> out of this truck on Lenox Avenue. And I used to go by that truck all the time. That right? is so crazy. Right? <laughs> so crazy. All the time. That, the stuff was always right up my alley. It was always cute. But I, I'm just not a big shopper buyer. But I always, like, there was something. Every time I'd go by, I'd be like... You know, let me look, let me check it out. And we never really got to know. I feel yeah. like I've seen you before. Really? I, well, like in passing. Okay. But we never really like met, spoke. met, right, or spoke right. and got to know each other. And then a couple months ago, I moved to T-Neck. I'm walking down the street. I see the celebrities boutique truck <laughs> outside. I'm like, how did this happen? How did the celebrities boutique truck? That's crazy. Right? Come yes. all the way from Harlem. And now it's here in T-Neck. And so I came around. I saw the sign on the store. And, you know, it took me about a month or so. But you had a now hiring sign. Yeah, I sure did. I needed a little cash. Right. So I walked in. We met. And, and that was it. And that was it. The rest is history. Right? So it wasn't time for us to meet back then. You're absolutely right. The time was now. And yeah. Here we go. yeah. Isn't that something? God's perfect timing. I promise you. Right? It wow. lines right up. We hit it off. It's been fantastic. And so now we're doing this podcast. Let me tell you some stuff about Nika. Besides the fact that she is the owner of Celebrities Boutique right here in Teaneck, she is also the owner of the, of the mobile boutique, the Celebrities Mobile Boutique, which is the fashion truck on wheels. Are you going to be, when are we moving with the truck? Is that When the weather breaks. When the, okay. Definitely when the weather okay. breaks. Okay. So when the yes. weather breaks, we're going to be moving with the mobile truck. Yes, we are. Right? Selling fashions everywhere. And she's also been in Forbes and Entrepreneur Magazine. Yes, I have. And you've been in the retail fashion business for over 15 years. Over 15. It's been so long. Right? Amazing stuff. Yes. And you're currently working as a professor teaching business and marketing at Metropolitan College of New York. Yeah. Also a married mom of three. with Three a, children. Three children. Woo! Which we're going to hear more. We're going to hear all about Nika's life. Yes. And she's got a master's degree. You're working towards a doctorate, right? Yes, I am. Writing a book. Yes. This is a girl soon after my come. own heart. It's soon come. Soon come. Yes. Anika <laughs> is a girl after my own heart. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I've met my friend soulmate. Woohoo! And a glamorous fashion doll. Thank you. With an irresistible sense of style. Thank you. Nika Celebrities Bell, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Mm-hmm. I'm excited to be here and... Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. Yes, I, I want ready. you to tell everybody, Nika, a little bit about you. I want you to tell them what you're passionate about and what you feel like your purpose is, that kind of stuff. Well, you know, originally when I started the business, I thought that I, well, I am passionate about fashion. Mm-hmm. But then meeting so many women, you know, and hearing their stories, I realized that it's more than just dressing up our outside. Yeah. Right, and I will get home and I'll be so tired and I'm like, God, why am I so tired? It's because I was pouring life into these women. So they were coming and using clothing and accessories and makeup to make their out- outer bodies look good, yeah. but their inners was all messed up. So I'm like, you know what, let me just switch this thing around, obviously it was God's will, and let me pour into these women. So now my passion is pouring back into women, yeah. you know, being there for them. Just, I went through so much in my life and now I understand why I had to go through all of those things because now I have more empathy, mm. you know, and I have more understanding. If I never went through anything, how can I help them? Absolutely. You get it? So Absolutely. I am in the business of cleaning up your insides and then making your outsides look good. Because what good is it if your outsides look good when your inside is a wreck of a mess? Absolutely. So that's my passion. Ah! You love it? Yes. Right, come on. I love it. Because they also say it's like, you know, when you when you get purposeful about what it is. I mean, actually, I think that ultimately for all of us and those of us who are connected to our reason for being, it does all come down to helping people, right? Right. But, you know, the idea is that if you can help people through something that is your talent, 
something that is your, you know, it's like your tool. So yes. your sense of style and the fact that you understand fashion and all of that and what looks good on people, mm -hmm. it's been your avenue into that connection. Correct. I yes, love that. Right. It's like, you know, when you have a really good hairdresser too. Right? When they know, really? you know, when you tell them your stuff, right? Yes, that's exactly how it is. <laughs> it's like it's an avenue into that intimacy with someone. Yes. And then you can help them get into what's really, really going on. I think right. that's what makes, a, you know, someone who's good at that sort of thing. It's like, you know, what I know I'm really doing is helping what's in your heart when you think that I'm just helping you with the outside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I agree. And in the short time we've known each other, I noticed that you that you have an affinity for that. Like yes. you're very much a motivator and very inspirational. I am. And yeah. I don't even know really where it came from. Yeah. I, you know, I always ask myself like, when did it all start? Because yeah. I, I never looked at myself like, you know, I never looked at myself as the way I am now. And this, it just happened. Yeah. It just happened. And I, I, I don't know where it came from though, but it had to be God because I don't do it on purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it just, well, it's, not, it's easy. It's so easy. Right? It's so easy. And I always say, you always know that what you're doing is the thing for you when it, when you find ease in it. Yes. Like, you know, those people that say, you know, when you find your purpose, you find your passion, you never work a day in your life. Right. It's that kind of thing. It's that kind of thing. Yeah. Yes, it is. Because child, I've been in places where I've struggled. <laughs> I promise Where I pushed you. it and I forced it. <laughs> Girl. And it was never easy. Never easy. <laughs> right? I promise you. That day to day that you can barely get through. Mm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> we, we ain't doing that no more. No more. Not no more. Right. We're over it. Yes. So now that we're we're you know doing this podcast, we have so many plans in the works. So yes. many things that we've been talking so about. First of all, we have amazing conversations every time we have conversations, and you know go over time every time we have time. <laughs> <laughs> but we have big plans for how we're going to do this podcast. Yes. How we're going to do this partnership, and you know, part of what I'm really excited about is that I am a big believer in when you want something, the thing to do is to support other people in having right. it. You right, you have to support. You have to. It's very important. Right, and the two of us, I think, are very, um, uh, you know, we're business minded and you know, visionary and mm -hmm. creative, and so I think it's been a very easy sort of uh, partnering process to be like, how can we like support each other? And so everything that we come up with is around support each other and supporting other women support and men too yes. supporting people let's in not forget the men let's not forget the men supporting people in having what they want right right yep <laughs> <laughs> so let's see who's tuning in so far we have yvonne hi honey and darren darren says hey hey happy new year hi my sweetheart and sharon cohen corley hi my love she was once on the show before hi sharon hey sharon and you have i don't know like because i see over there that we have like 12 people on live but they're not all showing up on my feed so i don't because know. i think they're showing up share? are they yeah. showing up on yours Who do i am I, um, I have nikai hey nikai i have jason i have katrice <gasps> what's up she katrice? said that she needs tutorials on how to share she doesn't really know how to share the video oh. thank you katrice for even trying we appreciate right? it <laughs> and we will definitely uh show you how to share because that is definitely important and as a matter of fact there why don't everyone button. share right those of you that know how, why don't you just go ahead and share this video with your friends. Sharing is caring. Tell her to look and see if there's a share button. There should be like, comment, and share buttons across yeah. the Yeah. And she should be she, able to share. I'm not sure. We have Fanta. Hey, Fanta. Hi, Fanta. Lindia. Jason. We have a man in the oh, house. We have Giles Fisher, who's a man. Yes. I love it. Marie. Wanza. Jimmy. Another man. Regina. Kiwan. Another man. Richard. Another man. Ooh. We have Angela. Um, hey, Joelle, hey. another man, and Wanza <laughs> says, "Hey there." Hey, and Joelle says, um, um, "Joelle says thank you." <laughs> and then Jason just waved. Yay. So <laughs> we thank all of you for tuning in to Absolutely. our first live slash podcast. Yes, what would you call it? It's a live slash podcast. Oh, got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that, like I said, there's going to be replays too. So if for whatever reason you're tuning in later or you can't watch and you want to just listen in your car, you can check out the replays as well. So there's going to be a lot of avenues for hearing us. Candace, they said, I believe that Candace's page is on private. Oh. 
and Regina. Sing well, yourself. I'll work that out, Lanza, because I don't I shouldn't be. Maybe because we don't have anybody in common yet. Well, no, we should have. We'll work it out. Yeah, we'll, we'll work, work it out. out. It's our first. I promise. So we'll yeah, if you can't hear us through. or you know anything, just let us know. I see that James Rizzo, Mr. Rizzo, was my high school band teacher when I played wow. the clarinet and was a pom pom girl. Wow, isn't that crazy? Hi, Mr. Rizzo. He hey, used, Mr. Rizzo. He used to give me detention all the time because I was chewing gum. Oh, Lord. <laughs> right. You probably was chewing so hard. I was terrible. Lord, Jesus. We were not allowed to have gum in band class, and I was always chewing gum. And Michael Ronan, who I went to college with. I love it. I love all the throwback yes. people. Thank you What's guys up? for tuning in. So let's talk to the people about some of the yes. things that we're going to have this show be about. Okay. Ongoing. Because the thing is, is that with each particular show, we'll have different topics. We will, um, you know, at some point feature things that are going to be available in the store, yes. available on the website. Um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of, of good stuff going on. But one of the first things I think that we're going to talk about a lot is what we're, we're doing each week to support our own daily amazingness. Yes. Let's talk about that. <laughs> right? Like we've got some things going on. So what's something you want me to share first or you want to share something first that you're doing? Uh, to support your own daily amazingness. You could share first. And then I'm <laughs> answering because everybody's saying that they don't see a share option. Maybe the replay. Oh, will. yeah. I okay. don't know. If you're, on, if you're on a computer, you should be able to share. I don't know. It, I don't know. Or maybe because yeah. I'm doing a watch party. It is set to public. Are oh. you doing a watch Because you're doing a watch party. That's why. Oh, I'm not supposed to do a watch party? Well, if you just share it directly, if you just share it to your page, oh, the watch party's fine. It's fine. I Look, mean, I'm, I'm learning too, so y'all just be <laughs> And you can do them. it from your computer, though. If you go on your computer, share it also like a, a regular thing on the page. And okay. those of you on the audio, just bear with us. We just We're having a little bit out. of difficulty. <laughs> promise we'll be better Always next week. Working out, working out the technical difficulties. Yes. So, um, what we were going to share about. So, things that we're doing to support daily amazingness yes so i am a big believer in um daily practices and the things that you do to you know either just feel good for the day or to increase your energy or you know whatever just self-care self-love stuff and those of you who've been with the podcast and following all along you know that i'm all about radical self-acceptance and what are the things to do to not just look good which that's important. It's not about, you know, just manis and patties, but like what are the things to do to actually make your body feel good, have your mind thinking straight, take care of your mental wellness. One of the big things I'm into is yoga. Oh yes. And you know, moving my body. Tried it. Uh, tried it. You never tried never. yoga? Girl. Oh. I know, I keep would saying go, 2020. You, yeah. I promise. You would go, go to a with class you. with me? Yes. I love it. You're supposed to be flexible or something though, right? Uh, well that Here's the thing about people who are afraid of yoga. They always think that you sh you're supposed to be flexible, but that's the point of doing yoga is to get flexible. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I guess I'll be getting flexible. Right? <laughs> and the thing about getting flexible is that it's what helps, like, you know, as you're growing older, like, you know, osteoporosis, things like that. Like, you want to keep everything really lubricated. You want all those ligaments and muscles to be, like, moving and stretched and, you know, be able to have that movement. So, okay. So that as you get older, it doesn't all stiffen up. Gotcha. And but, we're getting older. So, and yes. we're, you know, we're okay. women of a certain age. Yes. I wouldn't call us old. We're still, like, fresh like daisies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whatever you say. Right. I don't know about her, but I'm getting older. <laughs> Unfortunately. But you're not old because if no. you're old, I'm old. You're younger than I am. So. That's true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel, I still feel a daisy freshness. And you look fresh daisy to me. Thank so you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want to claim. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But sure. yeah, so my, my daily amazingness thing is, you know, the movement, body movement. And I was just telling Anika earlier that I'm learning how to shuffle. And it's, even the... <laughs> I did not know you was going to work. Yes. Could somebody please chime in and tell me? She said it is a song. What, is, what did you say? Every day I'm shuffling. Every, every day, day I'm shuffling. Is that a song or is every day I'm hustling? <laughs> is it shuffling? She comes it, in with, I don't know. Can somebody please? Because I, I, I don't know. It could be that originally it was every day I'm hustling. Or originally it was every day I'm shuffling. But there is a music video where they, what they sing is every day I'm shuffling and everybody is all these little millennial kids in the video doing that shuffle dance, which is like a lot of footwork. Oh. And you gotta look around all You've never seen that? I've music? never seen that. I'm definitely going to ask Madison when we get home. Ask That's Madison. When I get home. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a good decade behind the trend because they've been doing it for a minute, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that song. Um. What is love? 
Baby, don't hurt me. But you taking that's, it way back. But that's one of the songs that they remixed and they shuffled to it. But they've been doing oh. it for like 10 years. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah. Okay. But supposedly it's really good cardio. So that's something that I'm, I'm doing to like, for 2020, I want to be not, uh, it's not about skinniness. It's about just being in like the best shape of my life. I love it. Right? I love it. I'm, I mean, I, I'm 47, about to be 48. I want to feel like light on my feet. Gotcha. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to lose a few pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to. I mean, you know, I hurt my knee. You don't even you, know. I think you I told you, it, but you didn't tell me the whole. Yeah, I tore my um, MCL, Ooh. and so since then I've gained a couple of pounds. I can see it in the uh, face. But um, yeah, so I just want to come down a little bit, and you know, what works for me is affirmations. You know, in the morning, I put an app on my phone and I listen to affirmations yeah. because, you know, doing all the inspiring and, you know, the motivating other people, sometimes I just need it for myself. So, Absolutely. you know, I just listen to, you know, affirmations and that's what I do yeah. on a daily basis. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Darren, what, what are you saying, honey? You're the, we're the same age. I didn't know that. Darren, you tell us too. And some of the other people, Angelo, hi, Angelo, who joined us. You guys tell us too, what are some things that you're doing to promote your own daily amazingness? Because I think that when we share what we're up to and what we do, sometimes people are like, oh, I didn't think of doing that. And then they try it and they get to be amazing every day. I love it. Right? So it is every day I'm hustling. Well, that's what Regina says because that's the version she heard. <laughs> I, I didn't see anybody yet that says every day yeah, I'm, I'm shuffling. shuffling. All right, I might be crazy, but I promise I'm not trying to be crazy. I thought for sure that I saw a video where they're they're doing that dance. Wait, uh, I was learning that. Phantom was learning it too. See? Oh, she said, I love it. It's fun. Wow. It's, it's so much fun, Phantom. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love it. And it's always when you see, I don't know, Phantom, if you've been watching any of the videos. I watch the videos to try to, like, pick it up. And it's always these little skinny girls that are like, you know, trying to do it. I'm going to look 20s. into it. So next week, we'll, I'll, I'll let you know if okay. I see every day I'm shuffling. I'm going to find the link and I'm going to send it. Okay. Because I, I believe you that there is the every day I'm hustling, but I think they did a video specifically Every day for I'm that shuffling. Dance. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Be totally, I believe you. I could be totally making it up. Look. We were just talking earlier about how I have the tendency to speak with authority on things I have no idea. What no idea. And she'll have you thinking. You just start questioning yourself. She'll be like, you're light skin. I'm like, I'm light skin. Now I've been called black all my life and you're telling me I'm light skin. Okay. So this is who I'm dealing with over here. Right. Don't make me sound crazy. <laughs> Look, I'm like, I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> But no, it's true. I've, I've gotten that feedback in life that I, I do, you know, I try, as I get older, I try to be a little bit more learned about things, but I do have a tendency to speak with direct authority on things that I haven't really fully researched. That is hilarious. Don't but not in candy. my coaching. Not then you say coaching. ask for candy. And well... Well, right. <laughs> when it comes to my coaching and the relationship stuff, it's all stuff that I've researched. I'm okay. very learned on that. That's a disclaimer. Yeah, that's yes. a disclaimer. But okay. when we're talking about, you know... I don't know, geography or, or things like that, how things work. Then, <laughs> I might make up a story. Okay, right. how, you put, how you put your stereo, so here's, here's me dating myself. How you put your stereo system together, I have no idea. But don't I, will, ask I will sound like I know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> In a minute. Right? In a minute. All right, what else are we going to be talking about each week? So Let's see. We're also going to be talking about what you guys are doing each week. So hopefully you guys will email us and let us know over the course of the week, those of you who are following us on social media, um, you know, let us know how you're doing, what's going on with your relationships. Oh, what? here's Sorry. the thing I want to mention to everybody. Even though I did mention that you're a married mom of three, we were talking earlier, we were talking to Anika's sister, Catrice, earlier about, um, the, you know, bringing you, brings a fresh perspective mm -hmm. of you being a mom and having kids and like, you know, being being married and stuff like that. Yes. Like, that brings a fresh perspective to this whole conversation. But and the I, people that don't watch you, they don't know about you. So you're saying I bring a fresh perspective. But yes. what do you, why, why do you say that? Because? Well, because I'm a relationship coach who's not married and doesn't have kids. Now, I've been in long-term relationships, very long-term relationships. Yes. And I always call myself a childless mother because I adopt people. I love taking care of other people. It's been a journey of mine, the whole thing with motherhood, which I've talked about before in the past. But, you know, 
whatever. God didn't have it so that I had kids at least by now. So sometimes when I give my perspective on things, even though I am very knowledgeable about being somebody's child, when I talk about parenting, I feel like I need that, that other perspective of someone who's actually raised somebody from, you know, from zygote to human. Like, so right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> someone who's actually bought them from single celled to a full grown adult, <laughs> which Anika has done. Full grown adult. Right? Yes. So, you know, Anika's bringing that brand new perspective, which I think is going to be really helpful when we're yes. talking about stuff that people ask about or, you know, want to talk about or, um, you know, when we get into these deep conversations about what it means to create a healthy relationship when you have those other aspects in your life. Yes, I love it. Right? Very exciting, yes. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be good stuff. I see yes. my Jamie. Hi, my Jamie. And Rory just joined. Yes. Darren says, workouts for me, if, if I was not doing that, I would not be able to shuffle. J Darren, can you shuffle? If you can shuffle, Darren, I want you to actually do a video and post it at some point. Where's Darren at? Why can't he come in and shuffle for us? Well, Darren lives elsewhere. I feel like he lives in, he's what, like, you know how when you have Facebook friends who are from far, I think he's oh. from like Michigan or something. Oh, like okay. Yeah. Well, no Although, Darren. Darren, if you come to New Jersey or New York City, you can come to Celebrity's Boutique and do a shuffle display if you like. Yes. <clears throat> Jamie says, hey, honeys. Hey, Jamie. Hi, honey. Aww. What's going on? With What's your going piece? on? Shara Perry says, Love you, sis. You look great. Thank Aww. you, Shara. I love you, too. Okay. Regina said, Every day I'm shuffling in the song, but is the song, but the name of the song is called Party, party Rock. Rock. And I've heard of Party Rock. It's by that, it's by L LMFAO. LMFAO. Yeah. LMFAO. LMFAO. Yeah. 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 <laughs> LMA All I know is every day I'm shuffling because I want to get it tight and right. Yep. Fancy right? said, yeah, that's what I watch. Party rock. Yes. So you were right. You can learn it that yes. way. Yes. Okay, got it. But Thank I do you, think guys. there might be a remix where they say every day I'm hustling. Maybe now. Yeah. Shuffling. Now but, you switched over. But no, that's the remix. I okay. think they remixed it to hustling. Okay. So, I, so I don't think that you were off base with that. Okay. Like I think oh. there's just a couple versions. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. That's the, that was the learning, the dance step learning version. Gotcha. Um, and what else? What are some other things that we're going to be doing? So, mm, I have here. Can, oh, go oh, which one? Can an addict truly love you? Oh, those are one of the, that's one of the oh, topics. That's good. That's yeah. one of the topics. So, right? so we're going to be doing topics. It's going to be a very topical show going forward. Yes. And I think that's going to be a good one. I can't wait for that one. Right? Can an addict truly love you. We won't go, like, here's Ooh. the thing, me and Anika have this thing where if we start talking about it, it will become the conversation. But yeah, so let's stop. All right? right. Should mm -hmm. I give a little teaser about it, though? Because okay. I want to tease it a little. I, uh, yeah. Here's the reason that Just we even bit. have it as a topic, because we were talking the other night, and um, I was talking about, you guys who have watched the show know about my history, you know that I had an abusive relationship with someone who, you know, had an addiction issue. And so... Anika made a really good point that I that I I you know how when you know something but you don't think of it cognitively until someone says it and you're like that is it and Anika was like well you know because of the addiction you can't know if that person ever really loves you like they can't really love you when they're in an addiction and I'm like that's exactly it it sounds so simple but it's like when you when someone else says it it right. kind of makes it like yeah that's what was going on so we're gonna do a show about that because I feel like. A lot of people are out there with people who have, you know, uh, functional addiction. Yes. A lot of drinking. A lot of everything. You know, a lot of weed smoking. And I don't have anything against if you like to smoke weed. But, you know, I was with someone who was a wake and baker who, who couldn't get through the day without smoking. So that's an addiction. Mm. We're going to talk. Right? <laughs> I don't know how she did it. I don't know how I did it. I either. cannot. <laughs> yeah. Be with someone that, oh, no. The functioning thing is a big, a big deal. Like, you know, there's a lot of people who are together and they're, they're dysfunctional in their own ways and also together. And that can work for years and years and years. Right. But if what you want for yourself is a healthy relationship, it's impossible to have a healthy relationship with someone who can't be uh, organically functional. I agree. <laughs> I agree. That's right. Period. That's it. Right. But we'll, we're going to delve into that. We're going to maybe have some, some guests on and stuff like that, you know. That for that show, I don't know. We'll talk about it. Yeah. We'll get into a big conversation about it.
But speaking of guests, I, I feel like I'm fire fire hosing the people. Like I'm just throwing it all at them. No, it's fine. You know, they're they're fine. fine. They're here oh, they're for good? it. Okay. They're, they're here they're, for it. They're grown. Y'all are grown, folks. You can take it. Katrice said they are not clear when they are addicted. So how can they truly love? Yes. They don't love themselves. That's what she wrote. I love it. Absolutely. So Katrice. Fancy says she cannot wait for that. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I know that that's going to be a great topic. That's going to be a good show. You guys have to tune in. Why can't that be our first one? You wanted to be the first one? Yeah, next, next week. week. Okay. What do y'all think? Next Tune in. Do y'all want to hear about that? You want to talk about it because we want to hear from you as well. Yeah. Okay? So, yeah, that's one of the things we'll talk about. That would be our first one. Yeah. I love it. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's I think do it. it'll be a good one. Jamie says, Rick Ross is the hustling version. Meditating at my altars. Okay. Oh, what is, <laughs> she oh. said, my friend Jamie said, Rick Ross did the hustling version. Oh, of Every Day I'm Hustling. Yeah, Every Day I'm Hustling. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> and Darren says he's from Kansas. Oh, thanks, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's do that one next week. Okay. Ken and Addis That's cool. Love you. Here's another topic that we sort of were touching on earlier about um, financial compatibility. Yes. Which I feel like that's that's one that goes back to, you know, there's that biblical uh, verse about being unequally yoked, mm. right? And somebody had posted, a friend of mine who uh, posted about can uh, uh, someone who works a, a regular job or a minimum wage job be with someone who's a neurosurgeon who makes six figures and then the, that the woman was the neurosurgeon who made, you know, like mid six figures mm -hmm. and the man was the one who worked a regular job and, you know, was making a regular wage, whatever, you know, regular is, mm -hmm. um, you know, is that possible? So what it brought up for me and I think what we're going to delve into with the financial compatibility cla uh, class with the financial compatibility show is, <laughs> is it about the amount of money or is it about, um, you know, wh who you are as a person and what you're connected mm, to? I have what? a few things to say about that. Yeah? Yes. Give us a little taste. Give us a teaser. I mean, you know, for me, when the woman is the breadwinner in a relationship, right? It's or I mean, it depends on the people. Yeah. Right? Because if you are a woman who is the breadwinner and you're constantly bringing it up, yeah. Like, be, you know, like, I brought that. Or, you, you mine, know, like, this is my, this house. Is my you know, my shoes. house. You can leave. <laughs> and, you know, when people do that, oh, God, I have a problem. I, have, yeah. I definitely have a problem. So I definitely think that it depends on the people, the person. Yeah. Who, you know who it is. I, I, I don't know. We'll talk. But we will. And you know what you're bringing up for me, too, that's going to make it even juicier is this idea of, of control in a relationship and how people use finances for control. Because mm. that's exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. And men do it too. You know, like, men like, do it too. Yeah. Oh, don't get it twisted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I was just saying, because it just came to my head, it was a woman. Yeah. So that's why I said woman. But definitely men um, do it too. So that definitely is going to be a great conversation. Right. And I hope the men that are watching, you guys tune in. Because we would love to hear from you as well. It's not always all about what women think. Right? right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. We have to have that testosterone, that male energy up in here um pop um Fanta says possible if the man is secure and Catrice wrote absolutely they can definitely be compatible I agree all right I so, agree but you know, we gonna talk about it because yes. I have I here's my thing because I'm you know as a as a coach I really don't like the idea of rules you know like you know like uh Steve Harvey wrote that uh, act like a lady, lady think, think like, like a man. Like a man. Right. So I do, I usually my framework is openness to what's possible. Meaning that, you know, it doesn't matter how much money anybody makes and all of that stuff. I, that, usually that is my framework around that sort of stuff. However, one thing that I feel like when it comes to money and money energy is sometimes we get confused with the amounts of money compared to who I have to be in order to, to make that amount. Of money, mm. so so we were talking earlier about how I could be someone who you know I could make that money through criminal activity and right. be someone who's not such a good person and have millions of dollars, right? right? And I could be someone who is of high integrity and you know does good for the world and doesn't make very very much money at all, right? And we wouldn't be able to be compatible, not because of the amount of money, but because we, we just have a completely we're coming with a completely different fabric as a right. person right and I think right, that's right, the right. thing we concentrate too much on the amount of money yes as opposed to like you know because the example that my friend posted about a neurosurgeon and someone who's working at, at a, I think he said a sporting goods store or something like that like to actually and if and the neurosurgeon was a woman 
to make it as a female neurosurgeon mm-hmm. takes a level of commitment <laughs> yes it does and a level of just fortitude yes. and purpose yes that yes. someone who's working at a sporting goods store at a certain age might not likely have right and it has nothing to do with the amount of money he's making right it's the fact that he doesn't he wouldn't necessarily be able to relate with, to, with that, that kind of fortitude that's true <laughs> yes <laughs> that kind of purpose and, and anything in the medical field the pa whatever you have to be a certain type of person to be with someone like that because they're always studying yes they're always on call you know that whole that whole thing so yes we definitely yes yeah, let's one. talk about that so <laughs> i'm excited about that one as well what's yeah. another one that what's we are going topic? to talk about um 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 which one stands out? Can for you? you drive someone to cheat? Woo! Woo! <laughs> what do y'all think about that? Can you drive someone to cheat? That's gonna be a good one. Oh. Right? Oh. I I am very like you polar. Ooh. I'm polarized about my opinion about it. Well, I said in one relationship that I am not a cheater, but I did cheat. Mm. What? Really? I know you like. <laughs> I am not a cheater, (laughs) but I did cheat. cheat. And we're going to talk about that. Oh, are we going to put a pin in it? Are we going to? (laughs) Oh, yes. You're going to have to tune in to hear that one. Right? Okay. Okay. I want to hear that one. Right? Yes. I've cheated before. (laughs) (laughs) But I don't consider myself a cheater either. Exactly. Let's talk about that. that I'm, I'm sure some of you out there can relate okay yeah, yeah. she was um regina said what <laughs> that is an excellent topic Yay, regina, exactly to with us honey regina tune in i don't know which week we're going to talk about that but right. we're just giving you guys the rundown yes, yes fancy gave us the thumbs up come on guys tune in let me hear what you have to say right um go ahead okay so here's one partnership versus ownership Ooh, what is what the is distinction? distinction? And I'll tell you what inspired that one. Yeah, I, we, tell me. We were talking about... What were we talking we about? We talked so much. We've only known each other for how long? Like a month? Was it that long? Huh? It was I, four weeks? I think it's been a month. She was on payroll for four weeks. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. We talked about a lot. Because it was, what, a week, a week before... Two weeks before Christmas? Two weeks before Maybe Christmas. Maybe two weeks. So it's been a month? It's been almost a month. Yeah. Oh, wow. I know. I've known you forever. Yeah, already. time is flow. Right? So we, we, we talked about a lot we in have, the last yes. four weeks. Every time we have a conversation, it's rich. It's very And good. like a lot comes up. Yeah, it's like the good, good stuff, right? Good stuff. Yeah. Wow. This is what God is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we were talking about um, the partnership versus ownership thing because we were talking about like, um, you know, how we tend to get with someone and think that that we own them in some way, meaning that um, you know, whether it's about what they look like or their appearance or, um, oh no, we were no. talking about men and their right. ownership over, over women's genitalia. That's what we did? We talked yeah, about Because what are we talking about? Like, I, I'm trying to remember the exact conversation without, you know, telling all the business just yet. Right. I'm like, wait. But I feel like we were, we were talking about, um... Uh, what were you talking I don't about? remember that one. When I saw this, I, was, I did not remember that one. But it had to you do... You probably wrote it down. She writes down everything. She's, I don't know what that I is. because I've never But we talk about things and she just starts writing. I'm like, what? Yeah. What? Hold it against me? Nah. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't remember. We were talking about uh, some... Partnership. It had to do with giving giving up the pussy to somebody. It had to oh, do with like... Oh, God. Yes. <laughs> but, it, but, but that there is like a, a an ownership that culturally... Sometimes people feel like they have not so much women to men, although I, women can can be possessive in that way too. Right. Where it's like you know my man this, my man that, my man this, and then uh, you know if he has any, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. If he has any, you know, I can't sort help of, you. Sort of other relationships, and I don't mean like romantic relationships, but you know what we were talking about is is specifically the way men can be about the woman they're they're with and. I think you're getting there. Yes. I think I remember it. Yeah. I think I remember it. Yeah. We, we, yeah. Okay. You wrote it down. We'll go through <laughs> anyway, it. Anyway, it's going to be but, a topic. It's we're going gonna, definitely we're gonna work that one out. We'll work it out. Yeah. We'll like, work it out. Oh, because we were talking about just the whole thing around like ownership of, of your vagina and this idea that a woman can be spoiled or ruined or that it has value, like your value is in your vagina and that it, 
And that there's I don't no, remember that conversation. We were talking about the T.I. thing. We were talking about that T.I. Oh, okay. And that led into, okay. you know. Okay, gotcha. She does, got it. She's she getting it together. It, then your husband owned it. Yes. You know, it's like, when do we own it? And right. And also that it doesn't, you know, dictate our value. Right. We, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she's We're going to clean that one she up. She's going to clean it up. We're going to figure right. it out. We're going right. to <laughs> get that one straight. <laughs> so we know what we're talking about. Ooh, let's right. see. Um, I have another one. Mm. Wait, where is it? I just mm. saw it. Oh, no. Should, oh, should your partner have a say in your appearance? Yeah. And it's so funny that you um, wanted to talk about that because on Sunday, mm. while I was in church... For those of you who go to my church who's tuned in, um, this Sunday, I, we had to wear all white. Mm -hmm. um, it was the first Sunday. We took communion. Okay. You know, that's what we do at my church. And so I had on a skirt, and I'm very aware of, you know, my body type. Mm -hmm. But this skirt was fitted. Yeah, it was fitted. And I thought, because I wear a girdle to church, uh -huh. to try to make my butt look flat. Right? Uh -huh. Um the, the you want your booty friends, gotta be flat. Right. <laughs> no, because, for the Lord, you gotta yeah. make your booty flat for the Lord. <laughs> no, it's just that, you know, come on. I grew up in church. I'm I like very aware. I know. I, know. Um, I was know. in a girl at twelve in church, so I get it. Like right. you're supposed to like tie everything down. Yes. So it ain't jiggling and poking out and doing what it does. Yeah. So I tied it down <laughs> no, it and then one of my girlfriends, we're we're really close. She's one of my close um girlfriends in church. Mm -hmm. She was like Lorenzo don't be saying nothing about what you be wearing. I said, what? Mm. She was like, your butt look nice. I said, you can see my butt. Now we're in church. I'm like, oh my God, I thought I was her. You know, and I'm like, no, but it looked flat in the mirror. So she, I was like, no. It did not look flat in the mirror, yes, Anika. Okay. Whatever. And I was like, no. I was like, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And so I said, no, he never says anything about, you know, what I wear. So that, that would be a good um, topic. Should your partner have a say in your appearance what do you guys think do you think your partner should have a say or should you just be free to wear what you want i love that lorenzo doesn't get on you about your appearance no he has never said go back and take it off i love that i mean maybe because i am aware of what i'm wearing yeah i'm aware of what i like that i'm aware of I'm what aware, i'm wearing I'm aware of what I'm and wearing. i know that i just can't wear everything right and, wait look yeah. fanta said you can't hide nigga so oh you know, fanta knows that what's is up. Funny. why you see my people we real people shoot i, I couldn't help it <laughs> whatever she knows that booty was not Cheryl, yes <laughs> no she what whatever <laughs> your partnership when you're first of all I mean obviously we're of a certain maturity so you get past a certain level of you know maturity and a certain level in life mm -hmm. and hopefully in your relationship everybody knows what how to dress appropriately you don't have to worry about it too much however I think a lot of times when it comes to abusive relationships or controlling relationships people will use appearance to try to either you know keep it keep somebody back hold somebody down right. you know make them feel I don't know, like what they're doing isn't right or that they don't look good or that right. you know, they should do things a certain way. Yeah. So we're going to get into that. Yes. It, it speaks to like control and abuse, I think. Yeah. There is a fine line, obviously. There it's is. not like your partner can never say anything to right. you. Also, we were talking about like, you know, changing your hairstyle, you know, or like going like bald. Going bald. Or like, wearing wigs. Or wearing wigs. Do something so drastic and it's like, does your partner get to be like, uh... No, baby. Right. <laughs> How you just going to show up bald in the bedroom? Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Is uh, that okay? Shara yeah. said he should be your mirror at times. I agree, Shara. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Catrice says, I like when Mark chimes in. That's her husband. Oh. Sometimes it's cool when they chime in, Shara said. And then Harriet says, yes, there is a fine line. A fine line. There is right? a fine line. Definitely. And I think, too, like, you know, if you have listened to your gut, you know the difference of when somebody is being your mirror and being supportive and just wanting to make sure you don't go out looking crazy or if right. they're trying to control what you're doing or, you know, trying to plant something in your mind that makes you feel, you know, less than. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we know it. As yeah. women, we know the We difference. know. And Definitely. we also know when we're doing it, too. Right. Because we do that thing, too. Well, of course we do. Where it's like, you know, we use their appearance or how they're showing up to accuse them of cheating or accuse them of trying because to... Because I know good and well when my husband get up, and he works with a whole lot of women, and he just put for some reason you just eyeing it a little too long. 
<laughs> you try to put that on <laughs> that little crease. yeah that tight crease. <laughs> then you got the nerve to go spray some cologne. What right. happened? Where you going? So yeah, right. We have smelling good too. and wrinkle free. I'm, huh. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna need you to call me as soon as you get there. Call me a lunch break now. <laughs> but yeah, we all have a little you know, right? of that in us. Yeah. But um, so that's definitely a good, good, good conversation. And we want you guys to definitely chime in with that. What right. else do we have? I think we have something else, right? I think Did we go through everything? Well, there's one more. Which one? What is to it? do if your mom is in your bedroom? If your mom, well, mom, I don't see that one. That won't have to help. <laughs> well, here's with the thing one. about that. Okay, listen. There's a listen. there's a number of different ways that your mom can be in your bedroom. Okay, and we're not talking necessarily physically. Hopefully, she ain't physically in your bedroom. Right. But metaphorically, like what's going through your mind, like as women in particular, and I work with a lot of women who, who you know, have had abusive relationships with their mother. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, we just take on our mother's uh, self talk. Our mother's criticism of us, we take on her whole sort of persona as a woman. Mm. So if she's someone who is very shamey and shameful about mm. sex, mm. we tend to be very shameful about sex. And that's very much our mother's voice turned into our voice. I love that. Right? I love that because growing up, my mother never, we never could say vagina mm. or penis. Wow. Um, the, we called it a lulu if it was a penis, a lulu. Yeah. And we called it a. Uh, what was the vagina? If if Sha <laughs> she says I'm crazy. If Shara or Catrice, which are my sisters, are tuning in, we call Lulus penises Lulus, and what was vaginas? I can't remember. But they, we were, never they were coochies in my house. Your coochie, we yeah. would never say that. Coochie, you going to hell? We would really? Never coochie. <laughs> you might as well just curse. Oh no, Ooh. we never. Uh -uh. Your mama would beat me because I say yes. pussy all the time. Yeah, when you said it, I'm <laughs> like, oh. Even, you know, it's funny because now even as an adult, I don't say it. Really? I don't say that word. I, don't know. I learned to love that word really? in my 40s. It's so... I used to hate it. I used to be like, ah, pussy. But, but that is... In my 40s, is that the word? Huh? Like, where did that word come from? I don't know. No, I seriously. Mean, why is it equated with a cat? Oh, she called it a front <laughs> butt. <laughs> ah! 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 Okay, yes, but. a front <laughs> But that's what my mother called vagina. Really? For, ooh, isn't that something? That's crazy. So, so, growing, so even now, look at Fanta laughing at us. My mom would say pocketbooks. <laughs> well, pocketbooks. Even Oprah used to say vajayjay. But the JJ is still close, That's to, still vagina. Too close to vagina. That is way too close in my household. Yeah. Going up with my mother. Really? Front butt and Lulu. Yeah. Isn't that something? <laughs> it is. We should. That's not right. Uh, that was crazy. Was because crazy. even now, at my age, yeah. when you said the P word, yeah. I was You're like, like, <laughs> like, we're going to get struck now? Yes. <laughs> my one friend calls it a Mary Lou. A Mary Lou? Yeah, that's kind of like Lulu. Mary yeah, Lou. but Mary Lou for the vagina or Mary Lou for, for the penis? For the vagina. No, penis is a Lulu. Uh, the penis? Oh, the penis, the penis, penis is a Lulu. Lulu. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to get into that Somebody said the poom. Uh -huh. Poom is still poom. too vocal. We cannot say that in my house. We I were don't know the same how, how way, coochie Terry. was vocal. Because coochie to me is like a baby word. Because my mom used to say it to us even when we were little girls. Like, go upstairs, take a bath, and wash your coochie. Like, it, to me, it sounds like such a baby word. Yeah, coochie... <laughs> I still wouldn't say it. No. What about hoo-ha? Yes. You know, the only reason why I would say hoo-ha mm -hmm. is because one of my neighbors, she says it she all says the time. It. She steams it with the yogi steam. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah. It's called yogi steam? Uh, yoni. Yoni. You see, I'm saying yogi yeah. like a bear. Judith, next door. She does. Judith, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Oh, really? My neighbor. Yes. Uh, she <laughs> does yoni store steaming yes. and she calls it a hoo-ha. Yeah. And so I, I feel a little bit more comfortable, but it took me years of being her friend in order for me to adopt that. To feel comfortable. To feel that. comfortable with the P word. But that's why it's good that we're together. Because you'll she'll say the P word, say Pastor, First Lady, who I was watching. <laughs> I'm going to say, say she won't say something. <laughs> <laughs> Your front butt. Weenie your for penis. Weenie. A weenie. Oh, I don't know. Your weenie or your ween. I've heard ween. Your ween? Yeah, your oh. peenie ween. Oh. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we're definitely going to talk more about yes. that um, subject. What to do if your mom is in, in your, your bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. That's And great. the shame story and all the other stuff that goes. Not just the, the names for all of the genitalia. But right. all the stuff that goes along goes with, along with yeah, that. Not having, you know, healed all that stuff. Yes. 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 That's why I was afraid to have sex. 
right. you know how my mother made me like let's talk about all of that right we couldn't say behind we had to say but exactly oh. behind is a adult word what really behind See, you can't we say that say but we had to say behind oh no that's why we're so different <laughs> we're not like <laughs> But I mean, it's funny to me how people, depending on where they're from or whatever they make up, like, like it, you just, we just make it up as people. Right. Like we decide a word is a bad word just because, you know, whatever reason, and then make another word an okay word. And then a whole nother culture has a, one word one way and another way. It, it makes it's no crazy. sense. It makes, it no, makes sense. no sense. It makes no <laughs> sense. Regina says, what about your dad's voice in your mind in the bedroom? We can talk about that too. Ooh, we can talk about that. Because, I mean, that could definitely still be a shame story as well. It could yes. Be- you know, feeling like you have to be the, what do they call it? The Madonna whore complex. They say that comes from your father. Like, really? Like, yeah. I've never heard of that. So you yes. definitely have to talk about We're that. We're going to get into all of that. Yeah. that That's a good, good, good topic. So show. those are some of the topics, right? Yes. And that here's the thing. Home. The hour is almost over. Oh, God. We got to buy like that. Yes. But oh, we got to tell them our whole calendar that's coming up. Especially for people who are local, because we yes. want people to come and engage with our calendar. Yes. yes. And um, yeah, I want to make sure that we plug like where people can find us and follow mm-hmm. us, and you know, let everybody know to share us. Mm-hmm. So you want to tell them what do you want to tell them about of our calendar? We have a lot of stuff. On okay, there. so I think our next event would be January eighteenth. Yes. Right? So okay, guys, real quick. So January eighteenth, we have the Not Your Average Vision Board Party right here in the boutique. It's going to be set up. But the reason why it's called Not Your Average because normally at vision board parties, you cut out the picture, you paste it or tape it down, and then you just hope that it manifests. Right. But at our Not Your Average Vision Board Party, we are going to have people here that can help you. Help your picture manifest. Now, let me explain. For example, if you wanted to buy a house and you don't know how to start the process to buy a house, I will have Dana LaFore, who is has been in real estate forever. She's going to come and help you to give you the tools that you need in order to start the process to buy your house. The different programs, if you're a home first-time, home-time, um, what is it, first-time home, home buyer. <laughs> you know, your credit score. She'll be here to help you. If you want to write a book, I have Wanza Leftwich. She'll be here to help you. She's actually helping me to write my book. So that's just to give you an example of some of the people. Obviously. We'll have Candace. What do you do for love, love and Love and relationship, coach. Love and relationship. And whatever you want to manifest as far as your love and relationship is concerned, that's what I'll be here to help with action steps, which I love with about your idea. Steps. This was Anika's idea about the not your average, that you actually will be people here who can say, okay, now you have this vision that you want to manifest. So here are some actual action steps that you can take, like have a conversation with you where you're at and actually be able to have you, you know, go, go into some sort of motivated action going forward. Not just a paste down my picture, let me hang it on the wall and hope for the best. Exactly. And what I love about Candace being here to help you guys with your relationships is that she's just not a coach. She just says it like it's nothing. <laughs> like she actually gets paid to put people together. You know, I'm a matchmaker. Like, she's yes. a matchmaker. Like you don't even tell people what's well, wrong with you. You know, you're right. I need to like step yes. into that role like, in, a, in a way that's very like, you know. Right. So yeah. we have the real deal Holyfield up in here. For we have Catrice. By the way. Oh, no, that's eight. Okay, so that's February 18th. Not your average. Go that's on January. 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 I mean, January. January. Yeah. Thank you, baby. That's okay. They'll be coming in here February 18th. <laughs> and I'll be like, what happened? What are you doing here? So, yeah, January 18th. Go ahead. Purchase your tickets. You want to be in the building. It's being, uh, it's going to be amazing. We'll have food. We'll have drinks. We'll have. Everything. Just come on over. It's okay? true. And we'll have the stuff for you here, too. Yes. Right? We're going to have, like, the glue sticks and scissors and stuff like that. So. Yes. Just, you just come along. Just come. Yeah. And we have an event. We're going to put the... We'll put the link in this post. Yes. So, so you the, can have yeah, it. Yeah. So that you can register. Get registered. So February 1st is the makeup and matchmaking match party. party. You're like, what? <laughs> makeup and matchmaking. Tell That's them a little right. bit. So, okay. We're doing a makeup class, right? Yes, we and are. And you are teaching full full beat? Full beat. A full with beat. eyelashes. Woo! Strip eyelashes for those of you who struggle. <laughs> Right. I I'm like, like strip eyelash. Right. I totally struggle with it. You I know she does. They fall off. Whatever. Right. Right. Yes. And what I'm going to be doing is giving you a matchmaking assessment. It's the exact. I work for Talkify now, and it's the exact assessment that we use to figure out exactly who would be a good partner for you, who would be a great match for you, and what steps you might have to take to open up to having that partner. 
Wow. <gasps> That's going to be a great class. I'm excited. Right, all in one afternoon, you're going to be looking good and knowing what you want by the time you walk out. Yeah. So, and that's on February 1st. Yes. Um, and February 2nd, 22nd, we have the, you have to say the word. Badass business class by Katrice Thompson, honey. woo <laughs> See, she says all the, the, the dirty words. I say the bad words. I keep it, I keep it clean. Okay. <laughs> So that is on February um, 22nd. Yes. We have a lot of great things coming up in March. Yes. We have, oh, you want to, to, you want to come to these classes. And every Monday, normally on Mondays, what we'll be doing is a, sort of a happy hour, social hour yes. for the hour before we go live. So this, this Monday around, it was our first one. We decided to do it, just the two of us, kind of figure out what we want to talk about, how we want it to go. But every Monday, both men and women are invited to come in Sit down, have a glass of wine, sit with us. You can bring a bottle if you like. And we'll actually start a connective social conversation. And if you want to join us on the podcast, you can do that. Yes, you can. Or you can sit in the audience while we do the podcast. And you can watch us like TV. But even if you're sitting in the audience, you can participate as well. Definitely, but, definitely. Come right? and join us. I mean, so Terry Ham says she knows her. She's a Keller Williams agent. Wow. Oh, nice. She says she knows Dana and Cheryl. They both are Keller Williams agents. And she says, why I, wow, I love that idea. Yes, so, you know, come out. I mean, I have, I'm excited because I'm going to, for the, I'm talking about the Not Your Average Vision Board Party. Yeah. So I'm excited because I've never been to one. And so the first one will be the one that I'm at. So, I mean, the one that I'm giving. So I'm excited about it because I'm going to sit down with you guys and do it myself. And we, I'm, I'm saying... We're going to have a good time. We're going to have excited. a good time. All right. We're so, definitely so Jimmy's poking. That means we have one minute left. So I want to oh, say. Oh, one minute. But that's just for the armed radio people. We can wrap up with the Facebook people after. For the armed radio people, you can follow us at Ask for Candy Podcast, at Celebrities Mobile Boutique. If you want to just know what's going on on Instagram. Also, both of us are available for speaking engagements. So yes, we are. So if you want to have us for speech, speaking engagements, you can DM us on Instagram. And um, join Ask for Candy podcast group, Armed Radio group, follow the Celebrities Boutique business page. Don't forget to subscri subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ask for Candy podcast. <clears throat> and Armed Radio people, until next time, never forget that you are a love machine. If you ever start to feel like you aren't getting the love you need, just make more and ask for candy. Those of you on the Facebook Live, we can continue. We can finish our wrap up. We can do like a couple more minutes, I think, because we're just getting to nine o'clock. Bye, armed radio people. I know that you're leaving us soon. Yes. So, bye. what do we want to say to to everybody who showed up and and chimed in and, and all of that? No, stuff? I just want to say thank you. You know, yeah. I don't take anything for granted. For you to take time out of your life to tune into us, that's a big deal. And I just want you guys. I know that there was no share button, but please just share our um, podcast. Go ahead and support us. Come out to the events. Um, you know, this is the way we eat, right? We don't have jobs. And for those of you who know me, know that I put in a resignation on Friday. So I'm going all in with my businesses. And the reason why I chose to have events here is because a lot of you guys shop on Amazon. We shop online. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't really come into stores. And that's why a lot of stores are closing. So I am going non-traditionally. If Right? Is that a word? Not traditionally. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm having events inside the space. Right? Yes. So come out and support. And if you can't make it, share it with your friends so that they can come out support to support. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, I really, really ask that of you guys. Yeah. yeah. Not only that, we also want to be connected with the community and connected yes. with all of you guys. So, you know, we want to have you for that too. Definitely. Just come and see us. Come and see us. We're here at 362 Cedar Lane, right here in Teaneck, New Jersey. If you're driving, it takes 24 minutes to be exact. Yeah. And so, you know, without traffic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be worth it. It's worth it. every traffic, penny, right? you know? I mean, uh, well, every penny of the George Washington Bridge. Yeah. And, you know, all of your time. And I just really want to say thank you so much for supporting us yes. and being here for us. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Candy, for inviting me, you know, onto your thank podcast. Thank you for seeing me here, You Nika. are welcome. Uh, you are welcome. I, here's the thing. I don't want to take away from anyone who's ever been on the show before. You know that I love every single one of you who have ever been on the show. 
This is my girl. I love her. And I'm so, so happy that she's on the show. And, you know, we're just going to ride this till the wheels fall off. Yes. So, <laughs> right. so pray, right, until the wheels fall off. <laughs> the wheels ain't going to fall off. They ain't fall but we're just going to keep riding. We're going to keep right? riding, Yay. right? And so just remember that next week, what are we talking about? Next week, we're talking about Can an Addict Truly, truly Love You? you. Woo! So tune in if you, you know, you know friends who are dating addicts or married to addicts. If you, you wonder know. if you're dating an addict or with an addict, if you wonder if the person you're with really loves you and they're high all the time, <laughs> this is being a good show. Let's talk about it and make sure you guys get ready to tune in. Yeah. Um, somebody wrote, hold on, the bus route is easy that I looked up to That's from the true. Bronx. Thank you, Fanta, for looking it up. We really look forward to you, you know, coming out. Yeah. Um, Carolyn Strickland wrote, God bless. Uh, Terry wrote, will do. So, yes. So, I thank you guys for everybody who yes. tuned in today. Everybody yes. Here. Fern and Giselle and Darren, my love. Giselle, we're going to get into it. You said something about Married to Medicine. We'll get into that next week, I promise. Alicia, who joined. Kim Lee. Everybody who came in. Jamie. All of you guys, thank you so much for tuning in and being here. As always, I appreciate it. I love you so much. And... Yeah. We have to have a going out saying or something. We'll, we'll work on that. I used that. to always say this. Well, always. I said it to the on radio people. Until next time, never forget your love machine. But I didn't get to say anything with that. What do you want to say? I want to say something like with you. Okay. Well, what so like you, you say all of that and then go ahead. Say okay. anything. Until next time. never. You got to slow down too. Could you? You want me to go slow? Yes. Yeah, I don't talk that fast. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go. Until next time, never forget that you are a love machine. If you ever start to feel like you aren't getting the love you need... Just make more. <laughs> That's so funny. Whatever. But it's true. Right. I know it's corny, but it's true. No, I love it. Just right? make when more. We, when you feel like you don't have love, you got to make more love. And when we feel like we're not getting love, that means you're not giving love. It's true. It's true. <laughs> we're going to work on it. No, she's going to say that and then we're going to say it. <laughs> what are we going to say? Yes. Oh, well, wait. what's up, Jimmy? You're, you're coming in, so uh, I, I couldn't. I had to stop broadcasting. It was that bad. Oh, sorry about that. Do you have, do you have like a fan around, or uh, no? We don't have the. Phone. We don't have the fan. Like you were underwater and you couldn't understand the word you were saying. I'll send you the audio, Jim. We're we're All we're right. closing up with Facebook Live, but I'll send you an audio recording. All right, thanks. Uh, thank All you, right, Jimmy. Honey. <laughs> All right, now when Jimmy comes back in, you know it's time for us to close down. Right. But, <laughs> so yeah. But mom, mom thank you guys. Mom, thank you, guys. you for thank tuning you. in. Okay, bye. <laughs>